it is day four of our Pokemon pack and the labels came off the front so I may need to tape those next time but for day four this time we are doing this writing prompt of packing it up making a list of what they would take on their Pokemon journey and then doing a story about it it actually doesn't say story it just said list so one of mine just made a list so I'm gonna have her go back and give me at least two to three sentences about something from her list Today's is a Pokemon crossword puzzle. If I remember this one, yeah, this one is from season one or generation one, however you look at it. And there was another one I want to say was from season three, four, five. I don't remember. Here is today's Who's That Pokemon? And here is our color chart. Next. We have, we're doing Division today with the Pokemon on the bottom from Sword and Shield. We actually have not seen Sword and Shield and have not played Sword and Shield yet. And today was another Code Breaker page. They have two of these on the teachingscore.com website. So I was like, sure, why not? Because the girls really like coding, or at least they seem to. And that is it. Yep, there's another writing prompt. So that is it for today. So, reason why yesterday's vlog was short, and today's will probably be a little short to you, with not as much activities and not any outside time, I ended up hurting myself because some people don't like hearing about injuries. I won't go into detail, but basically, I can't walk. It's not like life threatening, and it's not like I'm gonna need a cast or anything. It's just I'm gonna have to stay off it for a couple days. It's bandaged up, and so yeah. <laughs> So, everything we do today is probably going to be based on what we can do with the kids in the house. I may have them, I don't know, we may find, I've thought about looking up, there are patterns on Pinterest for Lego patterns for Pokemon, and see if they want to do that. We also have the series we can watch, and either do crafting while they're watching, or just take breaks or whatever like I said I didn't want today to feel I didn't want this week to feel like school because they start back on their curriculum in two weeks so I don't know but yeah that's that's why I haven't been super active this week and that's why I haven't been super active on YouTube as much and stuff like that because yeah I hurt myself it was an accident but I couldn't see where I was going because I was carrying laundry, so it was an accident. But this is the other reason why I love doing food prep. All the food was basically done, and Matt has like one simple meal to make tonight. Or I may just like have my knee on a chair and stand on the other foot. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But day four, and I'm here. It's okay though, because I actually need to either combine four and five or five and six to be able to show you. I may combine today and tomorrow. So that we can show you our super cool food idea for the day six. Good Friday morning. It's day five. Today we are up super early. We are going to work on our packets. Then we are going to go do a grocery pickup. And if they don't finish before we do the pickup, they're going to take the packets with them. Their goal is to completely finish their packets today. Tonight we're having our pizza Friday, and tomorrow we're going to do our big party. Today's creative writing prompt is talking about catching a Pokemon for the first time, how they would feel about it, uh, would they fight it, um, capture it, does it run away, you know, just be creative about how they think their first time catching a Pokemon would go as a Pokemon trainer. The next page that I may not be able to turn with one hand <laughs> is a you have to fit the word in and the letter, the shape of the letter has to fit in the different blocks. So letters that are taller have to fit in the taller boxes and then the letters with tails on them have to fit in the boxes with tails on them. There's some fun, uh, there's an Espeon and then some fun rare Pokemon on here as well. These are already colored in. Then here is today's Who's That Pokemon? Here's the colors for it. And here it is. And this one is again division. Yes, this one again is division. And 
the next page. This is the fun math one for today. So they're going to be working on graphing and multiplication and they have to do both parts. So I thought that was super fun. And then the last page for all of them is they all have their own individual special page that they will do when they complete their packet. This one is Rebecca's and this is the special page that I picked specifically for her. Here is today's Who's That Pokemon? Let me know if you know which Pokemon this is. Matt's home from work, so for tonight, we're just gonna watch Indigo League, eat pizza, and ice cream. And then tomorrow, we're gonna have a really fun day.